Thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And this is the star of today's show. It is the only piece of meat that have made me forget about steaks. When you take a closer look, you can understand why. Take a look at the marbling of this. Nothing is better than this. We're talking about the Wagyu Marbling Score 9 Short Rib. It is perfection. And for today, I'm going to be doing an experiment with two of them. Since it's the first time me having a piece of meat like this, I always like to try different things. The very first one, we're going to keep it traditional. I'm going to be putting a nice, beautiful smoke and enjoying it. The second one, on the other hand, we're going to be deep frying it. Now the question is which one is going to be better? That we're going to be finding out real shortly, as this is the only piece of meat that have ever made me forget about steaks. So let's do it. The first thing I like to do is to remove a little bit of the external fat. We want to expose the meat so that we can get a little bit of seasoning on it. Remember this, salt does not penetrate fat. So by removing the external fat, we're actually helping it become better. Because once I was done, take a look. This is what I was left with. And the more I look at it, the better it looks. Take a look at this marbling, friends. This is not something you see every day. It is a very special piece of meat. Now to season it, I'm going to keep it real simple. First, I went in with salt. This is a thick piece of meat, so I made sure to season it properly. Not only the top, but also all sides. Once that was done, I went in with black pepper. I am using coarse black pepper today. This will help create that traditional barbecue bark, which I absolutely love. As you can see, once I was done, everything was perfectly seasoned. So into my Camp Chef smoker, it went at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually about 4 hours is good enough, but the actual time is to be determined real shortly. And here's a huge tip if you do not like a crunchy bark. Grab a spay bottle and fill it up with this mix, which consists of 3 parts water and 1 part apple cider vinegar. Like I mentioned, if you don't want any crunchiness on your bark, spray it every 30 minutes. Keeping it nice and wet is the way to go. At the same time, don't overdo it because you don't want the temperature in your smoker to fluctuate. Do everything you can to maintain the temperature as steady as possible. That is the key of good barbecue. As the short ribs was cooking, it was perfect because it allowed me time to make an incredible side dish. And to do it, it's super easy and here's how. The first thing to do is to cook up some bacon. We want to cook them all the way through, but we don't want them crunchy. Usually when they start foaming up like this is a sign that it's ready. Then go ahead and strain the bacon oil. In the same exact pan, throw in some white sweet onions. Mix it well under medium high heat and let that onion absorb that bacon fat. And in case you are running out, you can always put a little bit more. Let them cook until they start getting a little bit of color. Now throw in some dehydrated garlic followed by the bacon we just cooked and a good amount of corn. I am using sweet corn from the can. Yes, that's right. This is the easiest recipe you ever make, I'm telling you. For some color and flavor, I threw in a little bit of green onions. Mix everything well and combine those ingredients together. Then I seasoned it with a good amount of salt, followed by tahini seasoning, a good amount of heavy cream, and then I threw in some cotija cheese. As always, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Now you want to mix this well and let this thicken up. Keep it under medium-low heat. We don't want to bring this to a full boil, as once you are happy with the thickness of the sauce, throw it into a pan, spread it out nicely, add some more cotija cheese, followed by a little bit of extra tahini seasoning, and finish it off with some parsley. Now that is one of the easiest and lot to make at home. And it is delicious. Trust me when I tell you, you want to make this. And it will be perfect to go along with the short rib. Talking about that, after 4 hours in the smoker, this is what it looks like. You can clearly see a good pull back on the bone. That is a sign that it's cooking. But most importantly, take a look at that redness. It lets you know that it got a nice smoke ring, which means that this has a good smoky flavor. But hey, it's not fully cooked yet. For that, I'm going to be giving some extra help with aluminum foil. Wrap it up nicely and it's ready to go into the smoker. It will stay there until everything is nice and tender. Usually takes about 2 to 4 hours. It all depends on the size. That's real good because it allows us time to go ahead and prepare the second one. And I can't get over of how beautiful these short ribs look. Take a look. That's what I'm talking about. Now for the second preparation, the first thing I needed to do was to split them. So I ran right through the bones and cut them up. Once I was done, I was left with some incredible pieces. Look at the marbling of this thing. Like I mentioned previously, this is not something you see every day. And I cannot wait to find out how it's gonna taste. Now for this one, we're gonna be keeping it really simple with the seasoning. I just went with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. I seasoned them individually to make sure that every single one of them got a nice coating. As you can see, once I was done, they were perfectly seasoned. Every single edge is covered. Now to cook them, I'm gonna be using the Wagyu fat, as I'll be deep frying all of them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as they go in, I'll be lowering the temperature to 300. I'm looking for an internal temperature of 190 degrees Fahrenheit internally. Once that's done, I'll be letting them rest for 30 minutes. But now that you know exactly how this is gonna go down, I say it is enough talking and it is time to deep fry them. So let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Yes, you see me cooking many different things all the time, but sometimes on my editing days, I want to step back and not have to think about it and just go ahead and cook. I just need it to be as easy as possible. Most importantly, I want food that will help me stay on track. HelloFresh has 50 weekly menu and market items to choose from, including some that are calorie smart and carb smart recipes. I can indulge in delicious home cooked meals. The recipes are so delicious. HelloFresh has more five star reviews than any other meal kit. So you know you will get something amazing. And yeah, it's so easy. They offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. It's a phenomenal value because everything is pre portioned, so you don't have to waste money on excess food. HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by 25% compared to grocery store shopping. I like using it. My family likes using The best part is that we don't have to think about what's for dinner. And most importantly, that box is always waiting for me at my doorstep. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code GoogleFood16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Again, that's HelloFresh.com. Use code GoogleFood16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody. Here we have our beautiful short ribs. You guys like short ribs? I love short ribs. Here's what we got. It is a very new special cut. So I did a little experiment. We have this one here, the traditional version and the Google version. I don't know if the Google version is gonna be good, but if it's not good, I'm gonna be real mad, everybody. I don't wanna mess this one up. And then we got a little elote here as a side dish. That looks good. Huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen. Enough talking. Let's give this a try. Just one, dig in. Okay, so I'm one I'm, I'm entire not, I, rib. I cannot be. I cannot be as <laughs> fancy as you. I'm just going with my hands. Like, should like, we just grab the bone and go caveman style, or should what? What should we do? I think that's the only way we, we can do this. Huh? Let's do it. Huh? I think so. Ready oh for it? Oh my god! All right. Dude, okay. You know yeah. what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go caveman style. Angel, you want to switch? I feel. Whoa! Bad. Look at that, everybody. Awesome. Angel, you're sick. I feel like you should get. The Angel got the smallest oh, ones. Okay. Angel, you, you sure? <laughs> When I'm sick, I don't eat as much. Damn. <laughs> Look, everybody, check that out. Not off the bone, but hanging on by a thread, <laughs> all right? <laughs> I think if I wiggle mine, you know. Yeah, I, I don't think I can uh, take a bite like this, so I'm forced to use a fork and knife. All right, let's see. I'm going to try, Leo. <laughs> I'm going to try. Hold up. All right, I got it, everybody. Oh, oh no, I got it. I got it. Now, here's one of the things. I <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to explain one of the things that is important if you don't want a crunchy crunchy bark you got to spray it and we definitely don't have a crunchy bark we have a nice and tender my mouth is not only oh my like god it is so tender I have a waterfall going on right now okay. I cannot <laughs> wait to freaking <laughs> Google's, Google's was fell off the bone, not yeah, yeah. Off the bone. <laughs> exactly okay enough let's try it cheers, cheers. everybody oh my god Wow. That is otherworldly good. You don't need teeth. Damn, that's good. Respect to this one right here, buddy. I'm telling you right now. Extremely tender. Yep. What do you think, Leo? Tell me. I know you're excited, Leo. <laughs> I had to go for another bite. It's like this one. You don't even need anything. As soon as it hits your tongue, it just starts immediately disintegrating. This gives a whole new definition to melt in your mouth. Yeah, this mm. is melt in your mouth. Mm. The seasoning of it is perfect. That bark is absolutely to die for, man. Mm. This is an absolute treat, Guga. Thank you so much. This is awesome. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm crying inside, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eating. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just eating. I give this a 10 out of 10. Okay. What do you guys think? 100% agree. Okay, very good. Exciting. I can't wait to finish this one right here, but I'm ready to dug in. Let's go to the next one. I think the sick guy is trying to say something. Bring that <laughs> to this side. You want to try the elote? Okay, yeah. come over here, Leo. Let's see. Oh, Angel, go on. Okay. All right, he gets. He he's, gets not, he's not feeling great. Quick. And that little sauce that is on the bottom. Oh absolutely my Absolutely sick. God. You ready? I don't know what smells better, the short rib or the elote. <laughs> the elote oh is absolutely crazy. Oh, okay. So aromatic. By the way, there's a little bit of bacon in there, cause oh. we need it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, we don't have enough meat. Okay, let's try the elote. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh man. Oh Lord have mercy. I'll tell you that right now. I've died and gone to heaven. This is so good. That is the perfect side dish for these ribs right here. But that side it, dish it, is no joke. Enough. Stop eating that one. We got another one. Oh. You got the biggest one from here. I can't stop eating this elote. Andrew, you pick first. Hmm? A big fat one. That's good. <laughs> you, come, you have the honors? Ooh. Oh, okay. This one looks oh, super juicy. Oh, this one is not as tender. I tell you that right now. Look at that. No, this one don't wiggle, everybody. Not as much as the last no, one. No, this one. Let me see. 
days. <laughs> not tender. Now here's the big difference though. This one here took eight hours to cook. Now this one here I only cooked it in three hours. So oh. you know, let's 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 think about that. Yeah. I took a little sneak peek. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, enough talking, let's give this a try. Cheers everybody. Oh. Oh my god, dude. That's good, but it's not as tender. No. Mm, but a, the flavor. Yeah, the flavor is good. It's salty, it's fatty, it's super juicy. This one feels more like stew meat. Like a stew, yes, yeah. like a pressure cooker style. You know yeah. what I mean? It also oh has that my little Lord. taste of it, too. I hope you guys can see this and it's coming through the camera. Look at that wow. fattiness, everybody. Flavor is amazing. Not that tender falling apart. No. But I think it has its place in the kitchen. You know Absolutely. What I mean? If you want to have a different style. I think the smoked one is the way to go though. Yeah, yeah come on. I mean, no. is it unanimous? Isn't the smoked one much better? <laughs> you ate it all already? <laughs> Damn. The smoked one is way better, but don't diss this one because it has its place in the kitchen. And if you're in a hurry, just cook it like this because you eat it faster. Yeah, smoked is really, really good, but this is no joke either. This is... <laughs> Joke? Amazing. <laughs> oh, Leo, no cursing. I'm sorry, Google had to do it. <laughs> that was no joke, right? That was there. no joke, Leo. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, you see, right, it has right. a little bite. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.